Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the series of DevOps and Public Questions in Python. And as you can see on my screen, today is day three, and we are going to talk about these two programs today. So the first program that we are going to talk about is calculate length of a string without using any inbuilt method. And I think you already know that Python has its own inbuilt method known as len, to which you can calculate the length. But an interviewer wants to know the logic that you can use behind writing the program. So that's why we ask you that do not use any inbuilt method and I want to understand how can you do it without using them. So that would be our first program that we are going to discuss. Second would be reverse of any given string. So he'll give you any kind of string and then you have to reverse it. Reverse in the sense that you, if you have typed hello and then you have to give a result that is O-L-L-E-H. So some, some sort of that. So I hope you have guys have understood it. So uh, before moving further in this video, if you're new ahead, I'd like to request that kindly of subscribe to the channel because it motivates me to create more videos for you. So without further ado, let's dive right into the demo part. Okay, so as you can see on my screen, this is the first program in which we are going to calculate the length of a string. All right. So the first thing that you should understand is this is the string. So it's length is 42 that i already have calculated it so 42 would be the length but we have to find this out so we have to write our own method for that we don't have to use string len all right so this is the driver code what we're going to do is we're going to make a call to a str length method and we are going to pass my string which is this all right and then we will return some value and catch it over here and then we are going to print it over here that the length of the given string is this, all right? So this is the driver code. Now, the real code. So once this 11th line gets executed, it will make a call to str length, and then it will catch my string. Now we are going to have a counter. Now this counter should, uh, you can give any any name. I'll give len underscore count equal to zero, all right? For i in my string, we'll use for i loop, uh, for loop for uh, with i in my string, and then what we are going to do is, we have already set it up as 0. What we are going to do, we, we are going to counter it. So, we, are, we have written length underscore count equal to length underscore count plus 1. So, we are going to add it every time it is going to trace over this line. Alright. So, if the value is 0 over here, then it is going to have 0. Then this value, it is going to uh, come over E. Understand this way. E, then it is going to increase the value to 2. And then when it comes over y, it is going to increase the value to 3. Until and unless the whole string, each and every character in this string is tracked, then uh, until then this program won't stop. So uh, the program means the for loop won't stop. So until and unless that is done, it is going to keep on increasing that counter and then it is going to return the len count. All right. So starts from zero or uh, starts from uh, the first one, h. E y. So once h is completed, it is going to increase till 1, then e, then 2, then y, and so on and so forth. It is going to increase the count of this and then it is going to return it to this and then it will come over here and then we are going to print that. So let us run this. All right, so this is first program 0, 1, and you can see the length is 42, which is exactly the same. Now if I remove two characters, and do not get confused because this space is also a character in itself. So it is going to reduce it to 40. So if I run it, then it is 40. All right. So this is a very basic idea of how things needs to be done. All right. So uh, if you have not understood it, take a pause over here. I mean, pause the video and then understand it, what is happening over it, and then only move forward if you have understood it. Otherwise, you won't be able to understand it. All right. So let's move to the second program, which is string reverse. Now again, the same thing, my string is here, there, very basic part. And then I have written a driver code over here. In this driver code, str length is my method. And I have defined it over here. I'm going to pass the same string, which is this. And then I'm going to return something from my method. And then I'm going to catch it over here. And then I'll put it over here and then print that the reverse of the string is this. All right. This is very easy part. I hope you guys have understood it. And what we will do? We are going to understand the method. All right. Very basic thing starts from def, which is perfect. str length is my name. You can take any name, and then my string. We are going to catch it. Now we have to have an empty string. Now why empty string? Because we are going to reverse the string, and then we have to print it. 
Now there are inbuilt methods as well, but we are not going to use that because every interviewer who gives you this problem wants to understand how your logic goes. All right. So this is what you're going to do. Now we are going to use a for loop. You can use any loop, a while loop, while anything. But I have used used a for loop in my string. What I'm going to do is I'm going to print everything that I want to test. So this is for your test purposes. This is not necessary. So I'll just remove this. All right. Now the reverse string has to be i plus reverse string. Now pay attention to this code. This is not a reverse string plus i. This is i plus reverse string. Why? I'll explain you right away. But let me just run this program first to make sure that everything is fine. And you can see this h e y comma. Let me just clear this so that you can see it nicely. H e y comma space p h e r e and then an exclamation mark. So it has reversed my string. Perfect. Now how is it working? Now consider a scenario in which the loop goes from first step of the my string. So the first thing is h. All right. Now when i has the h, so h plus reverse string. What does reverse string? It's empty, right? So at the first turn, let me type it over here to understand. At the first iteration, okay, what will happen? First iteration, it will have h over here. Okay, nothing fancy. So h plus there is nothing. So the answer will be h. All right. Now at the second iteration, I'm not going to write it completely. Second iteration, what is going to happen? We already have reverse string as h over here. All right. So now in i at the second iteration, what would be the second word? It would be e. All right. So when it comes over here, so according to this logic, e plus H, and then it will become E H, and that is going to happen. And now, what happens in the third iteration? So let me write third iteration over here. So in the third iteration, the value of I will be. Let's come over here H E Y. So it will come Y over here, and then what we already have in reverse string, we have E N H. All right. So E and H. Now it is going to concatenate this. So let me type H over here, and it is going to be Y E and capital H. And you can see that it has formed this way only over here in the terminal, and so on and so forth. It is going to run till the last character has been reached over here, and it is going to print that. All right. So this is the main logic that we have used: reverse string. Equal to i plus reverse string, not reverse string plus i, because if you are going to do that, it is going to print exactly the same thing. All right, so there is no point in doing that. So this is the main logic of this program, and that's how you can reverse it. All right, so pay attention on this and try to uh, make your own logic. What you can do is pick a pen and paper, write what is happening at the every iteration, because it will make easier for you to understand what is happening at the Every iteration, because second iteration this, third iteration this, and fourth iteration, and so on and so forth. So uh, I hope you guys have understood this part. And if there is an issue, feel free to comment below, and we will address that. So thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.